Your laughter is the crest of waves far above everyone else's. You made us believe in ourselves before we understood how broken we were. You taught us to sweep our hearths down tender until we could forgive the ashes for falling on us. We used to take refuge at your house when we were young, playing with toys you kept special for us, a wellspring for our thirsty imagination. You taught us that editing is the blood of writing. You made us feel like kindred when our family strained the roof out of us. You understood our childhood was frozen in the dysfunction of our lineage. You tried to intervene with our parents, and even though it was not successful, I will always be thankful you tried. We look up to you because you are fireside and dining room table and ink on birthday cards. You showed us an address is a garden we get to sow with new beginnings. You went back to school, became a journalist. We did your dishes and in exchange, you taught us how to be a writer. You opened our future, crafted the possibilities of so many doorways. You taught us that evangelizing our friends was a dishonest way to make kinsfolk. You said to us, if there is a God, they are merciful, especially after death. You helped us become our own people. You've known us longer than anyone. You've always been precious, our affectionate family, like a wood stove in winter. Remember when Casey had a seizure, you and I rushed her to the vet. We were so close-knit and scared. Thank God I was there with you. Thank God you've been with me my whole life. Your nurturing has always been part of my home and always will be. You showed us we deserve a dwelling with our devoted, that being queer is our stacks of wood and always will be. It will always keep us warm no matter the distance in our clan, that sharing our hearth is where it matters. You have always been our family. You always will be. Dear first friend, dear always neighbor, always dear and always our loved one.